Introduction In economy, inflation is known as an increase in the general price of goods and services in the economy over a period. When the price level rises, less goods and services are purchased by each currency unit. In short, inflation reflects a persistent rise in the general level of price. The general level price that reflects the overall price level of goods and services in the economy at a given time. Inflation can have many negative consequences for the growth of the economy itself. High inflation rate will increase the cost of living and the standard of living people in a particular country. Recently, the world has once again experienced the inflation that affected most of the world nation. In Malaysia, for example, due to the unparalleled effect of strict containment measures to monitor the COVID-19 pandemic internationally and domestically, the Malaysia economy contract 17.1% in the second quarter of 2020 from a 0.7% rise in the first quarter. Theory of Inflation Market Power Inflation Theory In an economy where a single group and where a single or a group of sellers together decide a new price that is different from a competitive price, the price is called a market power price. Such group keep price at the level at which they can make the maximum profit without any concern for the purchasing power of consumer. For example, the price of onion in India have been very high in the last few years. The increase in the price of onion was the result of the group action of the procedure of onion. In this situation, the consumption of onion was reduced by people in the middle and low income groups. Onion producers, however, earn high profit from higher income group. Conventional demand pull inflation. The theory of market power inflation represents one extreme end of inflation. According to this theory, inflation exists even if there is no excess in demand. Conventional demand-driven economies, on the other hand, though that the excess of aggregate demand over aggregate supply was the only cause of inflation. For example, if a nation is experiencing a recession, its government may seek to energize the economy by investing in infrastructure in new employees' education program. This investment inject new money into the market and cause price to increase. Structural Inflation Theories Apart from the two extreme and mentioned above, there is a middle group of economies called structural economies. According to the structural inflation theory, market power is one of the factors that cause inflation, but it is not the only factor. Supporters of structural theories believe the inflation was due to structural change in the country or some of the structural feature of the business environment. Hi Ali. Hi Abu. My son had just undergone surgery and his treatment costs reached 14,000. Wow, a lot of it. My brother had surgery which might be the same and the cost was RM8,000. Is that right? Which hospital do your brother go? He performed surgery in the same hospital as your son, but that was a few years ago. Acting was a problem of inflation in medicine. The rate of inflation on medical costs is expected to be double digits annually, and this contrasts with consumer goods price inflation of about 2% until 4% annually. But the demand rate for treatment at each medical institution increase relatively higher than the previous year due to the coronavirus that hit the country. Apart from the coronavirus that hits our country of Malaysia, there are also other reasons. Three other reasons for the increase in medical costs are First, increase in non-communicable disease caused by unhealthy lifestyle, stress and disproportionate diet mean more people needing medical treatment. Second, due to more Malaysians living up to older age now and this increase the demand of long-term medication and medical service. Third, development of medical technology that provide better quality health care. There is also more demand for qualified workers for the handling and maintenance of equipment. Solution First, while consumers are facing the challenge of rising medical costs, 
Insurance companies are finding it equally difficult to offer products that are beneficial to them and yet are still affordable. The insurance company or takaful operator will sometimes not be required to pay for any test or treatment that are deemed ineligible or not covered by the terms and conditions of the takaful policy or certificate. Second, if you are discharged from the hospital, get a detailed bill. Confirm the treatment bill and service obtained. Ask if you feel that the charges are high or irrational. Third, a joint industry task force has been set up to better understand and address medical inflation. The critical issue for insurers and consumers is price transparency so that the latter can make informed choices on the cost of treatment. Conclusion, economic recovery depends on the public and private parties that are dynamically interconnected for the social and economic good of the country. During PKP alone, 66% of business experienced a drastic decline in demand, making it difficult to maintain existing business. The Malaysian government has practically taken many initiatives to stimulate and improve the economy.